Well, I am Senator I.D. Gyan, uh, representing Plateau North and Plateau State, the Federal Republic of Nigeria, in the Senate. Thank you very much. The bill that uh, seeks the uh, protection against falsehood and manipulation of the Internet, uh, along with that of the, the hate speech bill, are uh, two bills that have been introduced in the, in the Senate. Um, these two bills have generated um, so much uh, apprehension and uh, uh, to the extent that I have been inundated with so many calls from Nigerians both within and outside the country uh, expressing their concern over these two bills. Uh, personally, um, I've taken a look at the bills and uh, uh, whenever a law is to be enacted, it is uh, suppose, supposedly to address uh, certain mischiefs, uh, the desirability of these two bills. To my uh, understanding, uh, my position uh, is that um, instead of seeking to uh, address a mischief, uh, out to create one, uh, particularly as it has to do with uh, uh, the constitutionality of the bills uh, addressing the issues of the fundamental rights of the people as uh, enshrined in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 as amended. So uh, the issue particularly is that of the constitutionality of the bills. Um, uh, when you look at uh, the fundamental rights that are enshrined in Section 4 of the Constitution, uh, particularly section uh, 39 and uh, for the avoidance of uh, doubt I would want to quickly read that section because it is, uh, it is critical uh, to the understanding of the way forward and the position uh, on these on this bills. If you look at that section 39 uh, under fundamental uh, rights um, it says every person shall be entitled to freedom of expression including freedom to hold opinions and to receive and impart ideas and information without interference. So uh, by the provision of the Constitution, anything that will compromise and subvert the rights of citizens to this provision of the Constitution for them to freely express their opinion, to hold such opinions, to express such opinions, and of course, uh, these bills uh, uh, have the capacity to compromise that right. They have the capacity to subvert uh, that, that, that right that is fundamental. I know what is fundamental uh, is inalienable. And what is inalienable is something that should not be tampered with. And that is why the Constitution, again in Section 3, comes up with uh, what we call the doctrine of... Uh, 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 there, is, there is this, um, uh, the supremacy of the Constitution. It is to the extent that anything that contradicts any provision of the Constitution, any law that you come up with. So that is what we call the inconsistency test or the doctrine of inconsistency. Any law that is coming that will be inconsistent with the provision of the Constitution it says that shall to the extent of that inconsistency be null and void. So we do not want to even start a law that will uh, run counter or contradict and be inconsistent to the Constitution, uh, particularly that it has to do with uh, the, the rights and liberties of citizens. So that is where uh, I, I, I come on this, on this, on this very... And of course, there are extant laws that address the issues that uh, are being... Uh, addressed by the two bills. So no need to duplicate and, uh, commissions and agencies of government uh, by establishing commissions to take care of uh, issues that are already uh, provided for under existing laws, particularly libel. Uh, laws of, there are many laws on libel. There are those on sedition and what have you. So that is my position. Okay, thank you, Do you see any benefit uh, the, I think when you have a bill that seeks to enthrone regime protection rather than protecting citizens, 
if there's any benefit, it will, it, will be, it will be a benefit to the regime. And when I'm talking of regime, I'm not talking of a particular government because governments come and go. A pro-establishment bill. So let us seek for things that benefit citizens rather than seeking to protect the regime. So uh, uh, to the extent that it, it is of no benefit to citizens, uh, to that extent, uh, I cannot go for things that uh, seek to protect that, that uh, regime protect, uh, protectionist in nature, in nature. And particularly, uh, once you have that, if you have a regime that is fascist in nature and you arm it with this kind of instrument, then you are enthroning tyranny. So it is uh, better that we avoid uh, such a situation. Okay, sir, what are your concerns concerning regarding this bill? Uh, the concerns, of course, are that anything that will subvert or compromise the rights of citizens should uh, be discarded. Anything that will bring about uh, uh, the enthronement of a, a, a regime of tyranny over the nation should be discarded. Anything that will provide temptation for government to become fascist should be discarded. So um, uh, this, this is my position. Do you see it scaling through the end of the day? Uh, we, are, we, are, we are out to build a bipartisan coalition on the floor of the Senate uh, so that we get people to see reason why we should uh, uh, prefer the position that the Constitution has provided and other extant laws that have already taken care of the issues being raised uh, by these bills. Uh, we, 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 we seek to do a bipartisan coalition it is not an issue of party, it's not an issue, it's about Nigerians. We are in the National Assembly uh, to, uh, to, to protect the rights of citizens. We have sown an oath to, to defend the Constitution. And whatever will detract on the Constitution, whatever will, 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 will uh, uh, affect the rights of citizens, we should rise above uh, party sentiment, we should rise above partisanship and stand as uh, uh, leaders in this country to safeguard and ensure that the rights of citizens guaranteed by the Constitution uh, is safeguarded. Okay, so finally, what are the opposition leaders at the National Assembly saying about this bill? Uh, like I said, it is beyond party. It is about Nigerians. Um, uh, that's why I say we are talking about uh, building a coalition of voices bipartisan at the bipartisan level. So it's not about parties, it's about the rights of citizens. It's about uh, the liberty of citizens. It's about uh, avoiding a situation that we, we come up with uh, 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 tyrannical uh, uh, laws that will, will, will lead to uh, depriving citizens of um, exercising their fundamental rights which are inalienable.